All right, guys, let's check out this beautiful Frederic Constant High Life. But before we get into the watch and, uh, you know, giving Mimo even more praise for picking up this brand for one and then sharing it with us is awesome. But I want to share with you the box real quick. So um, let me see if I can get it in frame here. So this is, there's a cardboard box, but this is the box that will come in. It's actually this really nice green with uh, nice printing on there and everything. And I love their logo, Live Your Passion. So that is really cool and good words to live by. They have it everywhere. This is all kind of like soft touch pad and nice cushion. And then these are holders for the extra included rubber strap. And it has an integrated bracelet system or a proprietary bracelet system. And it has the strap change. That's all included and that's rubber. So a lot of last a long time and it fits great. I'll do a, a video clip of that after. I don't know if I'll try to get me changing it on video, but it has quick release. And the watch on bracelet is awesome, even with the butterfly clasp. You guys know I'm not a huge fan of that. The watch is also COSC, so it comes with its certificate with the specs for this actual watch, this movement. The movement is the uh, FC303, but I think what they've done is they've taken, because uh, Frederic has... Um, what do you call it? They have their own watchmakers. So, because you can order some of these movements. This has a Salita SW200 in it. And you can order them. I don't know which way they did this. But you can order them or their COSC already. Or, in this case, I kind of suspect that they did it in-house with their watchmakers. Maybe they sent it out. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously, it would make more sense to... This is a service center address and contact information. This is, uh, you know, a pamphlet on, in many languages, on different watches and how to use them. This is on the bottom of the box. And then, of course, you have your warranty card. I know a lot of people don't really care about this, but there it is. Mimo, it's already stamped off and signed. So, international warranty. I don't remember how long it is. Probably two years. I don't know. I'll have to look at their website. But I'll put a link to uh, Mimo's website down below, which he just did a new redesign of his website, and it looks great. So go check that out. Here's the hang tag. Retail price, $1,995. Get this. Mimo told me, I can tell you in video, and I'm going to put it down below in the description, if you use code ROB25, ROB25, probably a capital R, ROB25, try it should net you 25% off that price, which is going to land this around $1,500. Brand new from an authorized dealer. You can't beat that because you're darn near gray market prices. You know, you can probably get them a little less money from gray market, but you're getting the full kit with the bracelet and the strap and the box, the warranty, and it's an authorized dealer. I say spend a few extra bucks for whatever you think you can get it cheaper from and just get it from an authorized dealer. I'm a huge, huge supporter of authorized dealers. If you take a quick look at the bracelet here, the links, I have some. Always get these extra little baggies too, by the way, guys. I put all the extra bits in these little baggies. They're just little jewelry bags. But it's a pin and collar. You can see the center link there has the collar, and then it has a nice pin in there. Very secure method of doing it. I know a lot of people would like to see, you know, a screw link bracelet, but, and those are good too, but the screws can back out unless you keep an eye on them. These pins are not going to back out at all. All right, let's get into the watch finally. So as you're looking at it here, I'm going to cover the measurements. They claim 41 millimeter. I measured, it, it maybe can be 41 somewhere, but I measure 40 and a half millimeter. So it's right in there in that sweet spot. The lug to lug and just the case is going to be 45 millimeter. Check out that case profile too. All beautiful polishing with brushing up top. But so I did take another measurement for you with the bracelet on and I measured basically from here to here. So the extended lug to lug on this bracelet would be about 52 millimeter, but it doesn't wear like that guys. If you've ever tried an integrated bracelet into a watch head, they are so comfortable. It is absolutely one of my favorite things is when it's done correctly. Uh, it's only 11 millimeter thick, but that's including the double dome sapphire crystal that's on here. So it is actually a very thin watch. And I didn't measure up here, but the bracelet does taper down to 18. And you have a nice butterfly clasp. You have to fold over this side first, clip her down, and then this side because you have the FC Shield logo there. 
On the back side, you do have a display case back. We can zoom in, take a little closer look if you would like. So you have a custom signed rotor, 26 joules, indicating that it is the Salida. And I did zoom in. Actually, it's it's pretty easily legible. If you look up there towards the top, you can see the SW200-1. I'm pointing up there, guys, inside the movement. You see that? That's where you'll typically find on Swiss movements who made it and what model it is. Uh, you have four screws holding down the case back. There is a push-pull crown. There's a quick look at the quick-release spring bars, too. They're tucked away in there a little bit. Check that out. Kind of concealed. You are not going to feel those on wrist. So it has a 5 Atmos water resistance on it with that push-pull crown, which the crown is like 6.8 millimeters, so just under 7 millimeters. That's an excellent size. Tons of traction. Also has the shield, signed shield on there. Check out the kind of embossed there. Emblem, logo, whatever you want to call it. Grid on the dial. Very cool. Adds so much more depth to it versus just a plain blue dial. There's other colorways of this, not a ton, but there's even like a white or silvery white. My personal preference, and I'm biased because I'm holding it in my hands, but the blue dial I think is the one to get. Nice framed date window at 3 o'clock. And then you have nice silver applied indices all the way around with a decent amount of loom. Fully polished handset with loom in the center of those. Second hand reaches all the way out to that track. Very clean. Well done. It's beating at 4 hertz. We can move those hands out of the way so you can see the, the branding up top there if you'd like. We'll do that. Pretty clean dial overall, I think. You have the branding, Geneve, and then you have the certified chronometer automatic. When you have to have some printing on there, I think if it was void of it, it would look too bland. I think this is the perfect balance for this watch. And again, the price point, I cannot believe. I mean, it is a brand with a ton of history. If you get a chance, go look up the brand and you will find tons of information. There's already a ton of really good YouTubers doing videos on it. And it's it's an impressive brand. It really is. It's now owned by, not really that long ago, like 2016. It's now actually owned by Citizen Group. But they, from as far as I can tell, they kind of left it alone. They still are making what that brand is you know, best at. This thing is so good on wrist. So in case you don't know, I am doing a little, not a little, I'm doing a huge shift in my watch collection right now. And I can tell you without a doubt, I will be picking up one of these from Mimo. Not right now, because I have to finish this shift, but once that's done, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find a good sport watch that is kind of dressy. It's not really dressy. It's more of a, a really good, classy sport watch with the weight on it, which I didn't weigh it. I'll, I'll add it in the description down below, but the weight on it, the comfort on it, and then its versatility with this extra rubber strap. It is so good, guys. And at like, around, like I said, around 1500 bucks. I don't know. I seriously cannot think of another one watch that is in that price point, that is COSC, that is a really good sport watch and has the brand history that uh, FC has, even though it is owned by Citizen now, I get that, but that's what happens in the watch world. Things get bought up. So let's uh, kill the lights, check the loom. Uh, you know what, before we do that, let's I'll try to do this. I can't do this real quick on video, then I will um, edit it out or maybe I'll speed this part up or something because these usually come out pretty easy, but I'm thankfully Mimo said that I could, you know, check this out, wear it, all that good stuff, because I, I have like, worn out a little bit, but what I'm running into, and part of the reason why I'm doing some of the change in my um, collection is because it just it doesn't ever seem like I have time to wear everything, so I figure if I deplete the amount of watches I have a little bit, it kind of just goes around a little bit easier to do all this stuff. In there, just make sure it's in there, but look how much that transforms that. That is killer. Let me pop that on wrist, and then we'll do a loom shot. And this, this strap is going to last a while. It's not super like soft or anything like that. It's actually fairly tough. But it's still a really good strap. It's not going to be super long either. So if you have a larger wrist, you know, just caution. But that's like a perfect size. It's right in between. You can go with a smaller or larger wrist than me easily. I'm right in the middle of it. So super comfortably on this strap. And the versatility and unique features of this, I love it. Let's kill the lights. And there you go. I'm guessing the loom is probably C1 loom, so 
it's uh, a decent amount of potency. It's not crazy bright. It's not a dive watch, guys. It's a kind of a sport dress watch, so it's it's legible, but it's it's not. If you're a loom junkie, this is not your watch. Um, this is not its strong point for sure, but it's there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next vid.